Moins und Freunde, I'm so glad you're here and spending your precious time with me. I promised myself to figure something out, so... Last video I told you how hard it is for me when I have to spin more than I actually want to. And the pillow paint is always the reason for that. Putting too much on will help me spin more and longer to get more paint off. Doing that, the composition will expand. And um, most of the times I spin too much, so I'm guessing I need less pillow paint. Thing is though, oh, it's not that easy. I'm still on the splatter train, so I'm helping a little bit by using a squirt bottle and just splatter around a little bit before I put a swipe on. I use the lines of that splattery image and just go with that flow. I put um, Cell Activator first on my palette knife topped with my colors Prussian Blue, Teal, Caribbean Blue and um, Black Cell Activator. I also have Gold Cell Activator and White Cell Activator that I will use next. But first I'll scoop and drag a little bit. So this time I've spread out my paint. I used less of the pillow paint and I did it as other people do it. I spread it out instead of keeping that thick pillow in the middle that I usually do. And I totally swear by, I still do. I just know those splatters that I've been doing recently don't really want that much expansion. So in this one here, I do my swipes first on less pillow paint on less spread out pillow paint. And um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter. Spread my pillow paint out, it's less. Theory is that I have to spin less. Um, Maybe that's what I was trying to say. I love the spinning. I love the process of spreading out those, no, not spreading out, um, stretching out those cells and the lacing and the whole colors themselves. Because with that stretching, your paints get thinner and you get all the details and all the variations of one color you get crisp, defined cells, and that's what I'm going after. I see a lot of people just don't care about that. That's totally fine. If you just want lacing and cells and nothing else, yeah, do it. Not my thing though. I want to create something interesting. I want to create something special. And I want to create things that not everybody can recreate. I guess every artist wants to do that. So I'm at the point though where I have to figure things out because it's not working the way I want it to. This is my gold cell activator where I just add a little bit of movement. I don't know if it's gonna be seen. I really like layering different swipes or even blows on top of each other. And maybe that gold will shine through later. Okay, so black first, macaw next. This is Caribbean blue. This is my Prussian blue. I will top that off with teal by Golden 
and then add my cell activators before I uh, blow. So I already spun once, so I gave my paint a chance to already expand. Like I said, I want my swipes to do the whole expansion thing. But the splatters I want to expand not that much, that's why I spun it first. And we'll keep spinning after I blew. I just love splatters, I can tell you how much. Doing this though, I'm realizing, again, the more pillow paint you have, the more convenient and the more effects you effect, wait, the more... It works better. <laughs> More pillow paint underneath works splatter. Works splatter. Works better with the splatter. Holy cow! <laughs> okay. Um. That's okay for now, though. Like I told you, I am trying to figure things out. This is again not trying to achieve a beautiful, wonderful painting that I love or somebody else loves. I want to learn, I want to experiment, and I'm sharing this with you in case you are interested in my ways, in how I got as far as I got already, because this is what I do, uh, this is what I would do if I can't figure out things, I experiment and try it out. Yeah, so I hope you don't mind watching a process that doesn't have a satisfying outcome. Although it does have a satisfying outcome because I learn a lot. The next thing I'm learning here is that I'm really missing spinning more. <laughs> So the splatter and the blow and you saw me blowing more than once, which makes it more con deconstructed looking, May meaning um, you have more distressed lines, you have more wonky cells, that kind of thing. The paints mix in with each other more. Um, and maybe that's the reason why this turned out so... I don't want to say but ugly, but it's not pretty. Later in the close-ups you will see the details are gorgeous. And I love that first swipe that I did. It has the perfect um, definition to me. But the whole blowing part was not so successful. And I think it's because I was not able to spin more. Or there was not enough pillow paint underneath the paint where I blew, so it couldn't really develop well. So you see, my struggle is real. Um, this one is getting scraped. <laughs> Because it doesn't help you if the details are pretty, but if you look from afar, it looks like a fly on a windshield. So I will drop my mic here and let you enjoy the rest, and I will be back revisiting that next week. Um, in this case, I will do it right away. And that is her. Um, hey, Heather, thank you. Okay, dropping the mic. Watch this. Come back next week, where I hopefully have more success. Yeah. 
if you want to learn what I already know, that's sometimes easier. You have a chance to do so in Seattle, end of April, 27th till 29th. Book a class, meet others, be with us. Let's paint a bit. Until then, be good. Bye-bye.